right, everyone. I this is my movie room. I have such a mess. I got all of those Blu-rays and then all of these Blu-rays over here on this side that all need to be put away. It's like I've been slowly working on it, but my room is in desperate need of a major clean and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get into my video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Let's Get Cinematic. My name is Tiffany and everything we discuss on this channel has to do with physical media. So today's video, I'm going to start out with just a little little chat with me, um, just kind of let you know what's been going on, what is coming up for my channel, um, and then at the end of it I'm just going to go over some of the movies that I've recently watched, give you my opinions on them, and give it a star rating um, between 1 and 5. Um, so I do apologize that I did not put up a video on I think it was Wednesday, nope, Sunday, Sunday. Um, my family came down from Florida. I have not seen them in years, so my mom had a huge Labor Day cookout. So I was up over there enjoying, you know, two days of visiting and um, seeing them before they had to leave and go back to Florida. So that's what I've been doing over Labor Day weekend is just spending some family time. I did get some thrifting in. We did go to a huge flea market that happened on Labor Day as well in a town that's like, you know, pretty close to where we live. Excuse the hair, the hair is up today. It is 90 degrees here in Ohio. And um, you just don't got time to be wearing your hair down when it's that hot outside. So you're just gonna have to deal with the crazy looking hair. Um, some ideas, um, I'm asking you guys if you could, you know, give me some ideas of what you would like to see. Um, I know that I do a lot of unboxings and stuff on here, what I've bought for the month, but I'd like to, you know, mix it up a little bit and give a little bit, you know, different content. I did in the beginning try to do different content, but then I started getting like some copyright warnings and, um, Lionsgate reached out to me, you know, and pretty much said, you know, it's okay that you use a video, just make sure you're putting disclaimers on them and stuff like that. As long as I followed their, um, you know, their rules, I could post content using their content. Um, so it kind of shied me away from doing that. I mean, I don't want to get completely away from doing it because I enjoy the creativity, but I do know that I'm going to probably bring a series um, called um, What I've Upgraded from DVD to Blu-ray. So I will have like a pile of movies that are going to be shipped out to a friend in Michigan because she is also a collector. So I send all of my stuff to her. Um, because, and you know, she loves movies just as much as I do, and I know that she will appreciate them. But also, if there's any movies that I ever show that any of you guys are interested in, don't don't hesitate to let me know down in the comments or get a hold of me on Instagram, which is Let's Get Cinematic 22. Let me know if there's any movies that like I'm upgrading to Blu-ray that you would like the D the DVD of, um, and I won't have a problem, you know, sending that over to you guys. Um, so that's going to be one of them, um, the series. I do know after I complete my um, Blu-ray series on Sundays, I'm going to show my steel books. I did have some people ask me to do my collection of TV shows. I mean, I don't wouldn't mind it if that's something you guys are really interested in. Only problem I have with that is that a lot of my TV shows aren't full collections. Like I'm still kind of collecting them to get them to be complete sets. So if that is something you guys would like to see. Let me know down in the comments. I have no problem doing that for you guys as well. Um, so I am just looking for some new fresh ideas to do on Wednesdays mainly. Um, so if you have any ideas or you want to you know, share anything with me that you would like to see more content of, just put it down in the comments below and we'll see what we can do about making that happen for you guys. So that is what we have going on up to this point. Um, I am going to show you guys a quick um, look around my movie room. It is an absolute mess. There are so many movies from last month that need to be put away. I've gotten them all and like packed, like all the plastic off of them. Um, I've put in some away, but it, it's a long list. And I know that those who do alphabetical order like I do, it's a pain to put a bunch of movies away because you got to move everything over. So um, I'm working on that this week too. It's getting this room cleaned up. Um, and then I also, just so you guys know, just stay tuned on September 19th on Bob's Blu-rays. I will be on the DVD tournament, so I'm really looking forward to that. And he has uh, the, the tournaments, um, 
well when they're scheduled on Tuesday nights at 8.30. So definitely check out his channel. It's great content. And then I am just going to go ahead and go over the few movies that I have watched for this month. Um, one of the movies is I've seen at um, the movie theater, and that is Stray. Um, Stray's. Uh, I give Stray's probably a three and a half out of five stars. I know there's a lot of people who dislike this movie and say that it was a waste of production money, that there were more deserving films that should have had better, you know, bigger debuts over the movie Stray's. I disagree. I think that Strays was hilarious. I laughed the entire time I was in there. You know, that it was, you know, I didn't find any part of the movie that felt like it was a slow burn or boring at, at all. Um, and then every, and it wasn't a real long movie. So I, I enjoyed that it was kind of like a sh on the shorter side. It was funny. There was a lot of laughs. Uh, me and my husband thoroughly enjoyed the movie. So I would say definitely. Pick it up, watch it, stream it wherever, you know, whenever it comes to streaming. Um, I definitely recommend it. Again, I give it about three and a half stars out of five. Um, it, it's, but I just a disclaimer, do not take your kids to this movie. This movie has a lot of sexual content. Um, there's a lot of language. Um, so I would definitely um, not recommend anybody probably 14 and under watching. Um, again, that's to your discretion. They're your children, but I would not suggest it. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the movies that I do have here that I've watched. Again, it's not been a lot guys. I am trying. I just told my husband today, we got to amp up on watching some of these movies. Um, so I did pick out five or six titles and put them in my bedroom. So that way when we go to bed at night, cause that's our time when we usually watch movies that we will sit down and start watching some of these movies. Um, so the first movie that I watched was an Arrow title, and it was Gosford Park. Um, well, I out of five stars, I give it, I'll give it one to be nice, but I'd like to give it a half a star. Um, I did not enjoy this movie whatsoever. I thought it was really boring. Um, I felt like all of the plot unfolded the last 15 minutes of the movie, which I feel like if they would have like kind of made the plot like come alive throughout the movie it would have been a lot more interesting but it was an extreme slow burn I found myself an hour in thinking how long is this movie how much longer is this movie going to be when's it going to get to a point um so I do not recommend this movie I um I mean yeah for if you want to collect it for Arrow um, for your collection, I would say, yeah, I mean, I'm glad I have it as part of my Arrow collection, but it is a one watch for me. I would not watch it again. Um, the positives of this movie is the cast. They had some, you know, a good cast in it. Um, I don't know. Just wasn't, just wasn't my cup of tea, I guess. The second movie I watched from Arrow was the original Stephen King's Children of the Corn. I give the original three stars as well. Um, I do like the original um, Children of the Corn. I mean, you guys know, I think most of you guys know what the Children of the Corn is about. Um, so, I mean, I prefer the originals to the remakes of them. I have not watched the newest Children of the Corn. I've heard good and then I've heard not so good. So, um, I've heard mixed reviews about the new one. I do need to get that one and, and, you know, watch it, especially with, uh, spooky season coming. So that might be one that I need to look up and purchase. But um, Children of the Corn, yeah, I mean, it, it's a good movie. It's three out of five stars. The next movie is, you know I'm a huge A24 film, film fan, so I am trying to collect all of the A24 films. I do want to go get Asteroid City, even though I don't think it's going to be something that I thoroughly enjoy. Um, I know that it has a fantastic cast on it, but I definitely want to pick it up just so I have it with my A24 collection. Um, I was just telling my husband today, I definitely want to go and pick that up soon, but we watched, um, the killing of a sacred deer. This has got Nicole Kidman, um, Colin Farrell in it. Um, again, I've expressed um, many times that I am not a huge, um, Colin Farrell fan. I just, I mean, he's okay. He's not my favorite actor by any stretch. Um, I do like Nicole Kidman, but this movie, um, I watched it. I enjoyed it. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy it. I like the weirdness, you know, independent filmy, you know, kind of films. Um, I thought it had, you know, 
a, you know, suspenseful throughout. It was a kind of a slow burn in, in some points of it, but I didn't mind it. I felt like they placed the slow burn parts, you know, strategically so that it did not like burn out the movie, if you know what I mean. Um, the only thing about this movie is once I watched it, I was kind of confused as to whether the boy was, was he the devil or what was going on with his character. And then I read, um, I looked it up and read it that it was like, this movie was based off of some like mythical, um, character or something like that. Um, I can't remember any of the information right now, which I probably should have looked it up in, um, before talking about this, but, um, so I did, it did make a little bit more sense to me once I understood exactly, you know, like, you know, what the movie was based off. Because at first I was like, so confused, like, how did this kid get all these powers to, to, you know, to paralyze his children? And, and then in the end, you know, I'm not sure if you guys have seen it, it's been out for a while. So I'm sorry if this is a spoiler, but when he had to choose one of his family members that he had to, um, kill, um, I felt for him, you know, because he was in a, a really bad situation. But overall, I would give this probably a two and a half stars. It wasn't my favorite A24 film. Um, but, you know, again, I would recommend watching it. it you know, it is a, a mind bender. Um, so, yeah, that was The Killing of a Sacred Deer. And then the last movie that I've watched within the last couple weeks was Sisu. I heard a lot of hype about Sisu. Um, I enjoyed it. This is the 4K of it as well. Um, I enjoyed the movie. Uh, I would, again, give it three stars. I know a lot of people probably would frown down on that. I felt like it had a lot of heart. The movie had a lot of heart. Um, but I felt like some parts of the movie were a little far-fetched. Like the plane crash at the end um, seemed a little far-fetched. Um, and just some of the, the other where they were trying to assassinate him. Again, sorry if there's any spoilers. Um, when they were trying to assassinate him, um, I think, you know, some of the attempts of them doing that would have been the end of anybody. <laughs> and he just, you know, had enough heart to keep surviving it. So, I mean, I think if it wasn't, I think it would have been a better movie. It would have been probably a four star for me if it would have been a little bit more believable. Um, but it had killer scenes in it, like, you know, bloody gore scenes, which I love because um, I'm a huge horror fan. So I do enjoy this movie. I am definitely glad that I picked it up and watched it. Um, so that is it, guys. And I know that's not a lot of movies to watch in the last couple weeks, but that is what I've gotten watched. So I do apologize again for not putting out a video on Sunday. I will be back Sunday with a Blu-ray collection. Um, I'm probably going to, well, I don't know if I'm going to finish up the Blu-rays, but I'm going to be really close. I might just go ahead and knock them out because um, there's quite a bit at the end of the alphabet that I have. So I might just go ahead and do that, and then I will start the steel books the following Sunday. Um, so don't forget to like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And then I will see you guys on Sunday. Thank you and have a great day.